Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use seamless textures or patterns in Gravit Designer. Let's check it out. So there's several places that you can find free seamless textures or patterns that you can use in Gravit Designer. A couple of them that I really like, um, I'll link in the description, but I also want to show them here on the screen. This one's wildtextures.com. This site has a lot of really good sort of organic textures. I'm going to use one from this site for this video. Another really good one, more for web design or UI design, but you can use them however you want, is uh, topol.com. Uh, this used to be, I think, subtlepatterns.com, but um, topol.com, as you can see here, there's just tons of, the, of these. These are really, really great for background patterns. So make sure you check out both of those for really good seamless textures and patterns. Now, what I mean by seamless is that they will repeat without any seam, without looking like there's a harsh transition. So we're going to use one from wildtextures.com. I'm just going to grab this one right here, this grass lawn texture. Maybe create something that's a little bit football season ish. And uh, it's really nice. It gives you sort of examples of how this texture can be used. And if you keep scrolling down, you can download the JPEG. So I've already downloaded that. I'm going to use this in Gravit Designer. And I'm here just in a design that I've been already been working on. I'm just going to continue in this same document and I'll just add a new page. Now we've got a blank page here to work with. And the way that you want to bring in these patterns or textures is different than an image. But I'm going to show you the wrong way to do this first. And I'm going to go find that free texture here. Here it is. It's a nice high resolution. You can see it's 2560 by 2560. It's a nice big size for a, a seamless texture. If I just drag it into Grab Designer, it's going to actually tell me that this is too big it's too big to import as a photo that it, it may experience some performance lag. I am using the web version of Gravit in the browser on my Windows PC today. So this is a high resolution image, very big. Now all I have is a photo now. If I try to expand it, it's just going to stretch that photo. It's going to give me some, some problems if I want to repeat this thing over and over again. I don't want to import it as an image. What I want to do is create a shape. Now you can use any shape, but I'm going to use a, just a rectangle. This is most likely the way that I would use seamless patterns or textures in my designs. So I just have a rectangle, right? This would be great for like maybe a header area um, or some sort of uh, uh, hero image. I'm going to go over to my fills. And if I just click on the, the swatch on the fill, I'm going to bring up the, uh, the color palette here, the color picker. And you can drop this down where it says color fill and choose texture fill. That's what I want. You can see it fills it with this default pattern, which is just a checkered pattern. If I click choose image, I can go find that grass texture. And it's going to use this as a pattern inside this rectangle. Now you can see this is actually very, very large image. So it looks like I have huge blades of grass. Well, when you have a textured, uh, a pattern uh, or texture fill, we can have some control over how this repeats, how it looks. I'm actually going to bring this down quite a bit to 25%. So it's going to scale the image to 25% and repeat it. Now you see, when I zoom in on this, we have a, a flawless repeating pattern through this entire thing. Now what's cool about this is because it's a seamless image, meaning it repeats from end to end, top to bottom, with no visible harsh transition. I can make this as long as I want and it will continue just repeating that pattern inside my shape. So I can have this huge field of grass just like this and actually create something that's even bigger than the actual image if I wanted to, because it just repeats over and over again, this pattern. So this is actually really great for background imagery, uh, things that you want to place behind something. 
or fill an area with, in this case, a texture. I'm, what I'm just going to go ahead and do is show you a few other extra things in this video. I want to show you how you can stack fills so that you can continue sort of tweaking this textured pattern um, in, in different ways inside Gravit Designer. Now remember, we can add multiple fills and multiple borders or strokes to any shape just by clicking this little plus icon right here. Let me zoom in, zoom in on that so you can see that's what I'm going to click to add another fill. Now this fill is being applied to the same shape. I don't want it on top. I want it behind it. So I'm just going to drag and drop it underneath. Now what I can do is grab a color for this second fill. And I'm going to grab a dark green from the image, just like that. And then I'm going to bring my top texture fill down to maybe like 50%. So it makes it even more green and a little bit more subtle. On top of that, I'm going to add another fill just by clicking that plus button. And this time I'm going to use a radial gradient. And I'm going to make the white also black, but then I'm going to make it completely transparent. So I've got this black to completely transparent gradient, sort of like a vignette. There we go. And then, of course, with a shape selected, I can make that even a little bit more subtle, maybe about 50%. Now, all of these fills are applied to this shape which I just think is really great. So in my layers panel, it's, it's, there's a lot going on already, but it's just one object, one layer on this rectangle. All this stuff is happening on this rectangle. Now, here's the thing. When you have a pattern fill or a texture fill inside of a shape, you don't have to worry about holding down shift when you resize it to maintain the aspect ratio like you would if you were resizing a photo because all it's doing is repeating that image over and over again inside the shape. And so I can expand this out. I can shrink it down. This is just great. Um, I really like using these kinds of things, especially when I'm doing like web design uh, for my backgrounds, that kind of thing. Let's just go ahead and finish this little composition. I'm just going to grab the text tool and type in something here. And let's make this Anton. There we go. Let's just add a quick um, drop shadow of that text. There we go. So there we go. There's just a quick way of how you can use textures, seamless textures in your uh, documents. Now I want to show you one more thing in this video before I go. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to grab my ellipse. I'm going to draw out some circles here. I'm going to make them black. We'll just hold alt and duplicate these a few times. I'm going to vary these up in size like that. Grab all of them. Control G to put them into a group and then copy that group. Control C. I'm going to copy that group. Now I'm going to grab my rectangle, R on the keyboard, drag out a rectangle, go back to my fills, go to texture fill, and then I can hit paste and anything that I have copied to the, the clipboard will be pasted as a repeating pattern inside this shape. There we go. So you can quickly create your own patterns inside uh, Gravit Designer. Let me uh, make some changes here. I will add more of these and maybe one of them is going to be oblong. But really, it can be whatever you want. Right, so I'll copy that, create a new rectangle, go to my pattern fill, hit paste, and there we go. We have a new pattern. And of course, I have all of the same adjustments and controls over this pattern, over this fill, as, as I do my other, all my other fills that I just showed you. So if I want to, for example, make this a color and have that pattern on top that's a little bit more subtle. We can even bring it down even a little bit more, something like that. And you can see as I, and I can, I can get rid of that little piece that I created the pattern with, and I still keep my patterns in here. 
open up my pattern here, maybe make this one 50% so it repeats more, or 25%. Go up as well, but remember that's going to work better with high resolution textures. So there's just a couple of seamless patterns I was able to create very, very quickly. And of course, those could be whatever you have copied to the clipboard, including just basic shapes that you've created inside Gravit Designer. I hope that helps you. Thank you. Um, again, let me just point out this, this video comes from Kenzie Hughes asks, can you do a seamless pattern tutorial for Gravit? Thank you, Kenzie. And this video is in response to you. So I hope that shows you a little bit more about how to use seamless patterns, both ones that you can find online and also how you can create your own inside Gravit Designer and use them to fill your different shapes. And I just used rectangles in this tutorial, but you can also apply a texture fill to any object inside Gravit Designer. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the comments and the questions. Keep them coming. Bye for now.